millions of people are quitting their jobs. Some of them because they don't want to go back physically to the office. Elizabeth Pran talked to one woman, for example, who decided the office just ain't for her. And many of her friends feel the same way. I, without exaggeration, have about five friends who've recently quit their jobs. Economists are calling it the great resignation. Employees taking control of where and how they work. The hybrid idea of working where I go in the office maybe one or two days a week. The rest of the time I've got this very flexible, agile way of working where I can base myself at home. Lots of employees are looking for that today. And if they can't get it from their current employer, it's never been easier to change jobs. More than 4 million people quit their jobs in April of this year, including Atlanta Area Research Compliance Specialist Portia Twight, who decided the office wasn't for her. I'm producing more work. I, I can be held accountable um, virtually. I don't actually need to be physically in the office. The pandemic offering a new opportunity for work-life balance. I enjoyed being able to say, okay, I'm done with my work and I'm done with my house life mom work at the same time and I can actually go play with my kids. In a June CBS YouGov poll, 31% of people surveyed say they'd like to stay working remotely. About a quarter would like a mix of office and remote work. And a whopping 67% are feeling optimistic about their prospects of finding a new job. Twite chalks that up to the old guard versus the new. I really do think it's a clash of generational mindset when it comes to work and life and career. And says the new generation is ready to shake up what it means to collaborate. Millennials and Gen Z have been having conversations in DMs and chats and, and like instant messaging since they were kids, since they were little. That's our natural speak. That is our mother tongue is remotely, virtually, electronically. Elizabeth Rand reporting there. Twight said that she already has a new job lined up before she even handed in a resignation letter back in the spring. All right, are you among the many Americans thinking about quitting your job? This is what's being called the great resignation, Jen. Yes. And she has great advice about how to do it so that you don't burn bridges. Right. I mean, just in April, Robin, almost 4 million Americans quit their jobs. This has been such a topic in the news headlines when it comes to businesses. You know, it isn't just minimum wage job. People are quitting their jobs for something they like better. And it's not just in the United States. It's a worldwide trend. 40% of workers say they're thinking about quitting in a Microsoft survey. So how do you do it right? We have got four tips for you. And number one, number one, the first person you should tell is your boss. Don't let your boss hear about this from somebody else. If you can, please do it face to face in person or on a video call. If you can't look, you can do it voice to voice, do a phone call, but don't do it by email or text. That's seen as pretty rude. Number two, keep working as hard as you normally would. Don't just slack off those last two weeks after you say it. Number three, as part of that work, make sure you leave a transition document in writing, right? You're showing your company a list of what your job responsibilities were, a little bit about how to do them. You want to make it easier for the next person who's taking over. And it also shows, you know, that you're a good outgoing worker. Number four, how much notice you give them. This can be tricky. Two weeks notice is still standard, and a lot of experts say that's really the right way to go. You might think, oh, I better give them more time. It may feel like you're doing them a favor, but just watch out. It can mean things get a little more uncomfortable. And finally, here's something that might take you by surprise. What if you quit and your boss starts trying to get you to stay? You want to be prepared. I almost think you should have a mock quit quit session with a good friend of yours to see what happens. What if they offer you more money? Would that make it worth it for you? What number would? What about if they offered you less hours? You want to be ready so that you're in a powerful position if that conversation comes up.